welcome you back to Black Sight tonight. We're going to talk about QAnon Shaman, the so-called leader of the insurrection, has been released. First, I would like for you to subscribe to this channel, hit that like button, hit that notification button, but also comment on this video. QAnon Shaman, who was the point man for the media, the so-called leader, the face of the insurrection will be released early on May 25th. The reason why he's being released is because the so-called insurrection committee hid over 6,000 hours of tapes when it comes to the so-called insurrection. But when the tapes were revealed by Tucker Carlson, it showed a whole different light on what really happened. The so-called leader of the insurrection was not tearing up the Capitol. He was being escorted around the Capitol by Capitol Police, taking him from room to room, basically setting him up to be the point man, somebody the media can point to. You have seen him on every channel. And this man basically was released by the courts saying that he was not guilty. This shows you that the so-called insurrection on January 6th, when it all falls out, it was a cold telling pro operation. They are trying to find out how many FBI agents were involved in January 6th. They have all the tapes, and you have to thank Tucker Carlson for exposing this government and what they did. This government lied to us during these committees. They didn't show us all the footage that they had of what was actually going on that day. Yes, there were some people attacking the Capitol, which is true, but there were plenty of people that they are putting in jail, and they're going to arrest a thousand more because they were walking around. Some people would say, it was a protest. Some say it's an insurrection. I don't know. And purposely, I don't care. But what I do care about is when our government attacks the people. As they attacked us for 400 years, now they're attacking an ideology they don't like. See, when they're willing to attack one ideology, What's going to happen when they're ready to attack FBA or ADOS? You think this government won't do that? You don't know what this government has on organizations that are fighting for so-called justice. We may disagree with all these clowns on January 6th, but they have the right to protest. And sometimes protests get out of hand. We saw that during the Black Lives Matter protests. Plenty of them got out of hand. Not many of them were sent to jail. Matter of fact, you had Kamala Harris and many others in Hollywood bailing people out. But when the side that you don't like protests and they get arrested and they get the handcuffs thrown on them, what's gonna stop that saying FBI and government from putting the clamps on us when we're asking for reparations, when we're asking to be fulfilled for the injustices that has been put upon us. I know many of you don't want to hear that, but if they can do it to white people, what the hell you think they're going to do to us? This was nothing but a government COINTEL operation against Trump supporters. 
So you don't think they're going to run one against us? You think all of a sudden that same government is on the side of FBA and ADOS, which I don't think they are. You should take a look at those tapes, how the police were actually standing around, letting these people walk through, escorting them through. I had to look at the tapes myself. And when I saw this, I knew it was an operation. Against a political opponent. This is why they will never give us what we rightfully deserve, reparations. Because they like it just the way it is. The judge would not have released this man if they did not see the tapes in the lies of this federal government against his own people. This is absolutely shocking what they did. And the Biden Justice Department needs to be held accountable for their actions. A lot of those people are in prison, were in prison because they were just standing around. I know many of you don't like this. You don't want to hear it. I understand that. But the same people will do the same damn exact thing to us if they do it to white people. They will show us no mercy. This government is power hungry. This government against those who don't follow the agenda and we have plenty of them in the black community that is not following this agenda. We want our reparations. We want our rights. We want what's rightfully owed to us. And when it comes down, you better believe they are coming after us. This is an example of what they can do when they want to do it. I'm glad the man is getting out because they set him up as a fall guy. That's all they did. And they put him on every newscast, every paper, every internet site to sell that this man was basically the face of the insurrection. I want to thank you for listening to Black Side. I hope you subscribe to this channel. Smash that like button, but also share this video.